Now, from the desert's news leader, you're watching the Find Food Bank Telethon on News Channel 3. Help us find a way to end hunger. And very good evening to you. Welcome to the 11th annual Find Food Bank Telethon. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're live this evening again at Find Food Bank, the big warehouse in Indio, raising money for one of the Coachella Valley's most vital, uh, essential nonprofits. Does so much for so many people, feeding families across the desert region, a job that's never been more important than it has been uh, during this pandemic. I'm Jeff Stahl. And I'm Caitlin Thrope, and this year's telethon looks a little bit different than previous years. While Jeff and I are live here in the warehouse in Indio, volunteers will be answering phones throughout the night. They are spaced out, few and far in between. Yeah, they are upstairs right now, and they've all got uh, their space, uh, a separate office to keep that social distancing. We want to practice the safety measures. That's why we're wearing masks. Mm -hmm. Even though, again, we are spaced out, we are inside in this big cavernous warehouse. The doors are open. We're keeping it safe, but we have a lot of work to do tonight. Those uh, phone answers, they're upstairs. They are answering your calls. They're going to be here throughout the night helping find Food Bank again during this biggest fundraiser of the year. They're waiting to take your call right now. Let's get that number on the screen if it's not already. 760-775-3663. Again, 760-775-3663. And all of the money that is donated tonight will go to the distribution of 2 million pounds of food every single month that Find Food Bank distributes throughout the desert region. And joining me right now to talk more about the significance of tonight is the president and CEO of Find Food Bank, Debbie Espinosa. It's so great to be with you in person. Thank you so much for being here. Yes. We really appreciate it. And you know what? It's been a while since I've been in the warehouse. So much has changed. Talk about some of the changes that have happened over the past year. Well, one, we doubled our distribution. You know, pre-COVID, we were distributing about 12 to 14 million pounds annually. And now we're up to 24 million pounds annually. And so that is the reason why our warehouse looks like this. It is filled to the brim, and that is the way that we want it to be. But we turn our warehouse almost two times a month moving food in and out to make sure that our community is very well fed. Mm -hmm. We have over uh, 44 mobile pantries now. Pre-COVID, we only had 22. Mm -hmm. And of course, 75% of our total food supply goes out to all of our partner agencies, those food pantries that our community knows and loves. Mm -hmm. Martha, CVRM, Well in the Desert, DAP, LGBTQ Center. We wanna make sure that all of our agencies have access and supply to this food so they can then in turn feed their clients. So it is it is multifaceted, it is large work, and that is how we've changed in wow. a year. Wow, well, to start off the telethon, we have an exciting announcement from the HN and Francis C. Berger Foundation. Let's check it out. I am Katherine Reed from the Berger Foundation, and I am so happy to be here at this fine telethon. The Berger Foundation is going to match every donation dollar for dollar up to 25,000 during tonight's telethon. The gift that the Berger Foundation is giving is to encourage others to give. With people still recovering from this pandemic, it is still so important for us to give. So if you can give 10, it becomes 20. If you could give 100, it becomes 200. Anything you can give will be doubled up to 25,000. And so much what we do together is so much more powerful than we can do alone. And Debbie, thanks so much to your team and all you've done this year, especially with what everybody's been going through the last year. Good luck to all of you tonight and all of you to keep Coachella Valley fed. Let's raise some money. Thanks. Well, everything doubled up to 25,000. Debbie, what do you think of that? My gosh, that is amazing. That is so amazing. And I just, I cannot thank the Burger Foundation enough. They have been by our side for so many years now, ensuring that the community and the community support um, is going to be doubled and be at its most maximum meaningful way of being able to show the community that hunger is just not acceptable in the Coachella Valley Desert region. And I do want to have a special thanks going out to the Burger Foundation in 2020. 
they were by our side every step of the way. And I cannot begin to tell you how amazing your gifts were last year. It gave us that hope and belief that we could continue to go on and continue to serve the community as best mm -hmm. we possibly can. So thank you so much for that. We okay. appreciate it. Thank you, Debbie. And of course, our efforts can't happen without your help. You've got to call in. We're going to toss it back to Jeff. He'll be, we'll be checking in with him throughout the night who will be giving us our totals. Okay, and it's very exciting. The money is already starting to come in. And let's, in fact, take a look at the, the big board that's going to be growing throughout the night, but already bringing in money. $6,715 has already been brought in. We expect that number to rise throughout the hour, in fact, throughout the night, because you can keep calling in those donations until 11 o'clock tonight. The number there on your screen there, 760-775-3663. And I'm excited to announce, again, our first major donation of the night's a telethon. Take a look at this. Hi, Linda Evans, Mayor for the City of La Quinta. We're a proud sponsor of the Fine Food Bank and their annual telethon. Our gift of $100,000 during the pandemic went to great use for the residents of La Quinta. We increased with Fine Food Bank site distribution from 1 to 11 throughout the city, and we distributed nearly 700,000 pounds of food, which was an 85% increase prior to the pandemic. We clearly understood that our residents needed it. We're proud to be part of the Fine Food Bank family in fighting food insecurity throughout our valley. I encourage you to get involved like the city of La Quinta has. Volunteer, donate, give. Thank you. And the mayor of La Quinta joins us now here. We're between the uh, orange flavored Perrier, as I said, and the Kettle brand potato <laughs> chips here. It's a huge warehouse. Absolutely. Mayor Evans, thanks for being here live. And you're one of the few people, uh, some uh, dignitaries, some mayors and, and representatives that are uh, answering the phones for you tonight. So you can actually talk to them if you'd like while you're making your donations. This is important to the city of La Quinta to support Fine Food Bank. Tell us about that. Yes, and the video represented the $40,000 that we donated last year at this very telethon, and we added another 60000 at the end of the year to bring that total to 100000 collectively for Fine. And we've been a supporter of Fine for so long. I've been on the board for a number of years and a Giving Society member, and we're all about healthy eating and active living, and we recognize that without food that we can't do those things. Our residents need food to be able to function, and during the pandemic, we did a ton to help our businesses, but we also needed to help our residents. And supporting Fine Food Bank, they just do an amazing job for our homebound seniors, the families, the people that were without work, kids mm -hmm. that weren't getting food at schools. We needed to step up to the plate, literally. A lot of creative thinking's had to go on over the past year to make sure that all these needs have been met. Hasn't been easy, but the city of La Quinta, obviously, you guys identified this as a big need and stepped up to the plate. Literally. Absolutely. And the team here at Find was amazing. They helped uh, train some of the staff that mm -hmm. were not working full time because of, for example, the wellness center was closed. So those individuals learned how to help pack food. And we increased our distribution sites in La Quinta from one location to 11 different locations throughout the city. And the staff helped deliver food to our affordable housing units mm -hmm. and families in need throughout this pandemic. So they really did more than just us writing a check. They got involved and started meeting our community members and got engaged to help. And it really, it, you know, as we were talking earlier, the pandemic either maybe had no impact on you or it had a huge impact. It kind of broke down the traditional lines of, you know, people in need mm -hmm. as, you know, of all income levels really suddenly could have been thrown into that category, really needing help. So the city uh, stepping forward again, what was say that number again? It was a, an amazing number of dollars that you guys have come up with. Uh, yeah, $60,000 for this year and we did 40,000 last year. And I challenged the other cities. They did a great job after we did our 40,000 last year. So we're upping the upping the challenge this year. And I know that there'll be other city announcements yeah. and uh, we're hoping to see that come through because our entire Valley you know, works together as a region. And the more that we can do to help folks, our city of La Quinta poundage was about 120,000 pounds that was going to find, and wow. that's over 700,000 pounds for our residents alone. So you can imagine what's been happening when Debbie talks about 20 million pounds of food yeah. being uh, delivered out of this warehouse and out of this service. And it's an incredible, incredible team. And I Impressive. thank the volunteers, and I thank the donors, and I thank all of those that rely on FIND yeah. and know that they, they're just here to help. Well, thanks for the City of La Quinta's Absolutely. help. We appreciate you being here with us today. Mayor Evans from the City of La Quinta again. Again, you can help in this effort. It's, it's, it's all of our responsibility. You can call the number. It's on your screen. Again, the number is 760-775-3663. And again, 
As we heard just minutes ago, all the donations from you are going to be matched. The viewer being doubled thanks to that matching grant from the Francis C. Berger Foundation. $20 will provide 100 meals to families in need. It's an amazing deal, and you got to do that tonight because it's going to be pretty cool. Let's go back to Caitlin Thrope, uh, a few aisles over with more now on how much the fine food bank's demand has really skyrocketed. No surprise during the mm -hmm. pandemic. Caitlin. Thanks, Jeff. Well, there's no doubt the coronavirus pandemic has greatly impacted people everywhere, and Find Food Bank has seen an increase in people who are now food insecure. Here are some of those sobering numbers. Exactly one year ago, the coronavirus pandemic took hold here in the desert. Right out of the gate, Find Food Bank was serving 175,000 people, a massive increase from the 90,000 people the year prior. So that's a 110% increase that really goes to show the economic impact that COVID-19 has had on our community. A report by the Coachella Valley Economic Partnership showed the unemployment rate in the Coachella Valley at about 7% before the outbreak, but that quickly jumped to nearly 32%. The economic impact is hitting so widespread right now in a way that we have not seen before. Um, and the numbers are showing it. Almost $46 million worth of food was distributed this past year. Even though we're opening things back up again, we have to remember that the long-term effects of this happening means that we're going to have to continue to support families for the long term until we can get our economy revived again. Since the pandemic started, Fine Food Bank has had to make changes to their warehouse to keep up with the demand. Right now we're pushing out almost 2 million pounds of food, whereas on a typical month it would be about a million. They're even tapping into their reserve and purchasing food as well. Everything that is coming into our warehouse right now is going out almost on the same week. And when I asked Debbie what donations they really need, they need shelf stable protein such as canned tuna, canned chicken, and creamy peanut butter. Espinosa says 75% of all of this food goes out to our local homeless shelters, soup kitchens, local churches, and community feeding programs. The rest is what you see being passed out at mobile markets as seen here where hundreds of people line up. We have been able to serve almost double the amount of people that we are typically serving on a regular month. And it's just beautiful to be able to see the community coming together, everybody putting egos aside in order to make sure that everybody gets what they need in order to be able to survive right now. It really goes to show how vital Fine Food Bank has been throughout our, for our whole community throughout this pandemic and just why tonight is so important, right, Jeff? Oh, that's uh, so true, Caitlin. Uh, so vital. This this organization does so much and has helped so many people, perhaps somebody you know or yourself over the past year, especially during this pandemic. Uh, that's why we are encouraging you, if you can tonight, to show that you can help your community in any way that you can. Any amount is welcome, whether it's a, a large amount or a small amount. Every bit helps. And it looks like people are already jumping to it to try to help increase that total. We were just at like $7,500 uh, uh, earlier. Look at this. We've gone up by 10 now. Seven or seventy-five thousand dollars, four hundred seventy-five four hundred thirty dollars. That's an impressive jump just in the past few minutes here. Uh, you can also donate now. You can give that number on your screen a call. The number seven six zero seven seven five three six six three. Make a donation. Maybe you can talk to Mayor Evans, who we were speaking to just a minute of, or a few two ago. Then we've got uh, representatives from almost all the Coachella Valley cities answering the phones here tonight. They all have their own room. They're making it safe. Uh, and that's, again, matching grant now from the Francis C. Berger Foundation. Any amount is going to go towards helping feed families in need. Your generosity so greatly uh, appreciated. Uh, Caitlin Thrope, I'm told, uh, has another big announcement. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm joined again by the president and CEO of Fine Food Bank, Debbie Espinosa, who's going to show us the newest addition to the warehouse. It's helping to meet that food demand from the community. I know it's behind us. Can you lead the way? Yes, I sure can. I'm very excited to announce as one of our major reveals for this telethon, one of the major things that we've done to our facility, which is increase the capacity of frozen foods that we have the capability of taking now. During 2020, one of the beauties of being the Feeding America Food Bank here in this region is that we can bring money in from even outside and Feeding America was able to work with Jeff Bezos to provide Fine Food Bank and many other food banks throughout the United States a very large grant to help us increase our capacity to feed 
double the amounts of people that we were all feeding during the 2020 uh, pandemic. So this is an over a half million dollar capital project that we just completed. And I'm very excited to display our brand new freezer. Wow, let's go inside. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Oh, it's so cold. How cold <laughs> is it in here? So this is a state-of-the-art Sub-Zero freezer in order to make sure that we can meet all of the requirements for food safety. Um, this sits at zero degrees or below. Ooh, okay. Um, and it has increased our capacity by three times the amount of food wow. that we can take as frozen product. How much food is that that can fit in here? Three and a half truckloads of wow. semi-tractor trailer loads of food before Fine Food Bank was only able to take Take one truckload at a time. Wow. Now we have the capacity to take three and a half. And as you can see, we can take things like frozen proteins, which are sometimes the most expensive things that we get um, that people have uh, a difficulty buying when they are food insecure. And so we want to make sure that we can step healthy foods going out into the community right. at their fullest capacity. And so that is the meaning behind this freezer. And we were so excited that we were able to bring this in as being part of our newest addition to the Fine Food Bank mm -hmm. programs and services that we offer. What an exciting addition. This freezer and your donation can help feed our community, especially our school community and our students and their families. And 85% of students in our districts, they qualify for free and reduced lunches. And while they've been doing distance learning, Fine Food Bank has been there every step of the way to make sure that those students and their families get the food they need. Food insecurities is something that our families struggle with every day. Robert Bell, a father of two in Desert Hot Springs, relies on food from Fine Food Bank to help feed his family during the pandemic. Things are, are kind of challenging right now, and so having a, a, a place where we can get a little boost, uh, I think it's uh, really helpful. Uh, uh, to the community, especially here in Desert Hot Springs. Find increased their school distribution sites to 12 locations to help feed students and their families. There's no words to describe how much help this partnership has been for our students, our families, and the community. The pandemic brought on extra challenges. Feeding America projects that there is a 65% increase in childhood food insecurity compared to those served in 2018 in Riverside County. If this was a normal school year, our kids would be relying on our free breakfast and our free lunch and even a supper program. The district is still handing out food every week, which is amazing, but this helps bridge the gap for what they're not getting from us. Fine Food Bank is able to reach children and families that are food insecure and provide them the necessities they need for a healthy meal. The boxes that we provide them with have fruits and vegetables, dairy, protein, grains, canned food. It's just a complete variety of food. The quality of the food is is like it's super so it, it really helps out and it's it's not like leftover stuff you know it's it's quality and so like it, it, it helps us to feel uplifted. This food from Find goes a long way. To me, I think one of the most important things is giving the food to the students helps them not have to worry about being hungry so they can focus on school. We're just very thankful for Find Food Bank and everything they do to support us. I know everyone is struggling right now and just the fact that we can count on them and their support means the world to us. In Desert Hot Springs, Caitlin Thrope, News Channel 3. Your support really goes to helping these families, these children in need during these uh, pandemic times. Anything you can do to help support the cause, it's another reason why tonight obviously is, is so important. Let's go back to the big board tonight uh, as we take a look at the donations. People are calling in. I'm told the phones have been ringing off the hook upstairs. And look at that, $75,430 has already come in. And we're not even halfway through this uh, pandemic. A telethon tonight here, Find Food Bank, the warehouse in Indio. Again, $75,430. You can add to that total by calling 760-775-3663. And again, a really neat thing tonight is that your donations are being matched, doubled, in fact, thanks to that $25,000 uh, Francis C. Berger Foundation uh, match grant. It's all to help the Fine Food Bank uh, meet that increased demand which we've seen during the pandemic. Remember, it's not only Fine Food Bank helping to uh, feed families directly. They partner with a, whole, a number of other community partners, providers, by helping distribution efforts uh, throughout the Coachella Valley. Take a look.
We started working with FIND a few months ago in October, I believe, and they have been instrumental in helping us uh, serve and feed our community uh, week after week. They have given us um, thousands of pounds of food that have you know, contributed to serving thousands of people. They've been wonderful to us. They have been instrumental in helping us do what we were hoping to accomplish here. And look at that, while we uh, were in that sound bite there that you heard, $78,245. Keep those calls coming. Again, right now, 760-775-3663. We're just getting started. We've got more exciting announcements. A big one is coming up next. You're watching the 11th annual Find Food Bank Telethon. You're watching the Desert's News Leader. Now, from the Desert's News Leader, you're watching the Find Food Bank Telethon on News Channel 3. Help us find a way to end hunger. And welcome back to our 11th annual Find Food Bank Telethon. We are live from the Find Food Bank warehouse in India, a huge facility right now filled with food, but the demand, of course, is great right now. I'm standing right in front of the uh, 50 pound bags of red potatoes. Look at some of this produce. The donations that you're making are going to be providing fresh produce like this to more than 150,000 people each month. That includes our local soup kitchens, homeless shelters, school distribution sites, so much more. You too can help feed our community with non-perishable, nutritious foods, especially in this time of need. We want to give a big thank you to Palm Springs Life, who donated $10,000 for tonight's telethon. That is a huge donation. Thank you so much, Palm Springs Life. Again, a $10,000 donation for tonight's telethon. That buys a whole lot of food, people. I mean, that's a big deal. Thank you again, Palm Springs Life, for that big donation. Now, you as well can add to the total. I, want, I can't wait to see what the big board's going to say the next time we check it. You can donate by calling the number on your screen. Give them a call right now. Phone lines, they're going to be open more than just this hour. They're going to be open until 11 o'clock tonight. But, hey, why wait? Get it done now. But if not... Hey, all the way till at least 11 o'clock tonight. Remember, your donation is going to be doubled thanks to the Francis C. Berger Foundation, who's matching all of our viewer donations up to $25,000 tonight. It's a pretty cool tool deal, and we can't wait to see how high we can uh, get that board up because it's helping people right here around the Coachella Valley. Uh, let's go back now to Caitlin Thrope, who's speaking with one of our Coachella Valley leaders, uh, answering the phones tonight as well, helping collect those donations. Right. Caitlin. Thanks, Jeff. And joining me now is Palm Springs Council Member Lisa Middleton, who's been answering the phones tonight. How has it been going, Lisa? It has been wonderful. There are so many kind and generous people in the Coachella Valley, and they're anxious to help us meet the goal that we've set for the Fine Food Bank. Right. And why is it important to you and to your city to support Fine Food Bank? You know, Palm Springs has always been a city that cares about giving, that wants to be one of the cities that people look up to in terms of our generosity. And the need for Fine Food Bank is just so great. And so many of us in the Coachella Valley are fortunate and we have an obligation to give back to those who are less fortunate. And this is one of the best opportunities you will have to show your willingness to give to those who need it. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Lisa, so much for helping out tonight. And throughout the midst of the pandemic, Fine Food Bank has brought food to those who are isolated and who can't help themselves. And I got to see firsthand how Fine Food Bank has been delivering food to homebound seniors. Take a look. Fine Food Bank. Hi. Hi. We have food. Every other week, volunteers at Fine Food Bank, the desert's regional food bank, deliver meals to homebound seniors. We followed along their food delivery route and met some of the seniors who benefit from this program. I needed it so bad I was eating peanut butter for almost two weeks. Michael Brotman is one of those volunteers at Fine Food Bank delivering food right to their doorstep. Whoa. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow. During the pandemic, you know, there is a large group of individuals that are not able to get food themselves, nor can they send friends or family to get it for them. So we've screened and identified this group of individuals. Um, we then have volunteers that are bringing food to their doorsteps. It remains completely contactless. Very often they've got tears in their eyes and they are so appreciative. 
And you can tell by actually going to where they live, you can actually see why they're not able to get, they don't have a car. Uh, some of them are, have physical disabilities. Find Food Bank delivers about 103 meals a month to homebound seniors. Without them, we couldn't survive. Included in these boxes are fresh produce, proteins, and other sustainable food items. I don't know what I would have done prior to this because it's just, it's been a little struggle when I first came, but now, you know, I don't worry so much anymore. Brotman says he looks forward to the weeks when he gets to volunteer at Find and deliver food to seniors in need. It feels so good to actually see the expression on people's faces when we deliver the food, and they are so appreciative. Thank you, thank you, and God bless you. God bless you, because this, it really was a lifesaver, so. In Cathedral City, Caitlin Thropay, News Channel 3. And Jeff, this is just one of the many ways Fine Food Bank and their volunteers help the most vulnerable in our community and help to keep them safe throughout the pandemic. Uh, you're so right about that, uh, Caitlin. It's why we're encouraging you again at home to help if you can. Look at this. The board continues to jump. We're up to $92,000, $825 right now. People at home, you are really making a difference, boosting those numbers. Uh, and again, aided by the Francis C. Berger Foundation's a matching donation of up to $25,000. Give them a call, 760-775-3663. And hey, I hear we have another exciting special donation. Check this out. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Hoffing, Medical Director of Desert Oasis Healthcare. And once again, Desert Oasis Healthcare is proud to be a major sponsor of the FIND Food Bank Telethon. FIND has always been a vital partner in our mission to take care of the patients we serve, and that has never been more apparent than this year during the pandemic. Food insecurity is a huge concern both nationwide and in our local community, but it has only gotten worse during COVID-19. Fortunately, Fine Food Bank has stepped up its efforts and is feeding more than double the people that it was feeding prior to the pandemic. They have also partnered with Riverside County's Masks Are Medicine campaign in giving away a million masks to Fine's network of community nonprofits as well as their 40 community mobile markets. If you can, please donate today to the Fine Food Bank so that they can continue their essential work. There's nothing more important in our society than making sure that no one goes hungry. Thank you very much.